a very good morning to all in the last class we discussed the first half of inflorescence you now know what is an inflorescence hmm? what is an inflorescence it is actually a cluster of flowers arranged on a common axis okay so uh, you studied there are different groups of inflorescence racemos cymos mixed type and special type okay so in the first session we discussed what are the different types of racemos inflorescence now in the second part we are going to discuss the second major division that is cymos inflorescence hmm? you know uh, in the racemos inflorescence actually what is the pattern of arrangement of flower flowers arranged on a common axis with the older flowers at the base younger flowers at the tip and the arrangement is acropetal hmm? remembering okay then what is the uh, condition of opening hmm? that is centripetal understood okay now just uh, opposite to that there the main axis continuously grow that is unlimited growth clear so now let us start what is cymos inflorescence so remember those things in your mind and study cymos inflorescence clear okay so in cymos inflorescence main axis ends with a flower usually or main axis shows limited growth understood okay so older flower at the tip younger flower at the base so just after producing a flower main axis stop its growth understood so main axis growth is limited just after flowering one flower it stops its growth and it is in basi petal order what is basi petal order flowers older flower at the apex younger flower at the base just opposite to that of zymos racemos understood then here opening is centrifugal okay center to periphery the other one periphery to central that is centripetal here centrifugal is the condition okay opening centrifugal there opening is centripetal there axis unlimited growth here axis limited growth there acropetal succession here basi petal succession understood so i hope you got a clear cut difference between racemos and a cymos so let us pass on to various types of cymos inflorescence okay so this is the basic cymos inflorescence just look at this half clear this is the axis okay so this is the main axis that ends in a flower understood and two other flowers arise below this older flower so older flower at the tip younger flower at the base here this side also same so first what happened this is the first axis that develop into a single flower so by considering all this this is the mature older flower so main axis end in a flower and later flowers arises from its base this is what cymos in flower simple pattern okay now so what are the three types of sorry four types of cymos in inflorescence what are they simple cyme monocasial cyme dicasial cyme and polycasial cyme you can have the terms simple cyme very simple that we studied main axis flower to lateral flowers that's all okay monocasial cyme branching only on one side dicasial cyme branching at both sides polycasial cyme different types of different on all around a branch understood so we will go into detail first one monocasial cyme another term for this is uniparasyme sometimes this may be also asked uniparasyme both are same main axis terminate in a flower and it produces one lateral flower only on one side understood main axis in flower then only on one side another flower clear there are two types of monocasial cyme how many types two types what are they first one is helicoid cyme second one is scorpioid cyme helical pattern you know what is helical pattern scorpioid another pattern okay so i will show you how it is okay first one is helicoid cyme 
main axis terminate in a flower. That is the condition of cymos. Understood? Then only on one side. That is the condition of monocacy design. Okay. So, lateral branch arising from axil of bract. On one side only. How it is? In one side it is helical appearance. Only on one side that is helical appearance. Okay. Then example is hemilia patterns. This plant is usually there in your garden. Uh, its color flower, colory flower is a small tube like orange reddish color. Okay. Then scorpioid cyme is the second one. Main axis stops after producing a flower. That is both the condition that is same. The lateral branches arise in axil of bracte. That is in uh, lateral branches like a zigzag manner. Left, right, left, right like a zigzag manner. In the helicoid sign, it is like a helical arranged lateral one. Here it is zigzag one. So, you have to remember the point. Eh? This is the division of monocasal sign. That is main axis end in a single flower and branch only on one side. Clear? So, at the base of main axis, main flower, one side branches. If that is in helicoid manner, that is helicoid sign. If that is in zigzag manner, that is scorpioid sign. Example is heliotropium. This is a common plant occurring in the paddy fields. Okay. See how it is. So, I will show you the picture. See. This is the monocasial sign. See. Main axis end in a flower. Imagine this is a flower. Then on one side only branches. This is a feature of monocasial sign. This is a helicoid sign. How it is arranged? On one side one flower. Again at its base another flower. At its base another flower. At its base another so, like this, like this, like this it is. That is helicoid. Okay. Then uh, this is scorpioid. See, main axis end in flower. Then one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So, left, right, left, right. Zigzag manner. Okay. So, this is example of scorpioid sign. This is example of helicoid sign. So, finally it will appear like this, like this, like this. Here it is opposite, 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 zigzag. So, that is our example. Clear. So, now let us pass on to second type. So, first type is monocasal sign. Only on one side branch. Dicasal sign or biparous sign. Monocasal sign is also called uniparous. Dicasal sign is also called biparous. What is the feature? Peduncle or main axis end in a flower. From the basal part, two lateral branches arise. Clear? Monocasal, from its base only one lateral branch. Here, Main axis end in a flower at its base two lateral branches. Clear? They end in flower. And again the pattern continues. Occur on these lateral branches. Example, Bergen Villa, Jasmine. You can remember the Jasmine, common Jasmine. So, main axis one flower, both uh, on its basal side you can see two bud, dicasal sign. Mirabilis, Nalumani. Hmm, okay. So, this is a dicasal or biparous sign. Clear? Now, what is polycasal sign? Or it is otherwise known as multiparasign. What is multiparasign? Peduncle and in a flower. And from its base, many lateral branches arise. Each terminate in flower. Understood? So, monocasal, main axis and in flower. Then one lateral, one side only branching. Dicasal on both side branching. Polycasal on from many lateral branches at the base of main branch. Okay. So, main axis ends in flower, lateral branch also continue repeatedly. Example is nerium, arali. Okay. Now, see, this is a dicasal sign. Main axis ends in a flower. On both sides, what happens? Both sides, another branch that ends in a flower. Again, at its base, another branch ends in a flower. At its base, another branch ends in a flower. At its base, another branch end in a flower. So, likewise, it is continuously growing on both sides. That is dicasal. So, see what is polycasal sign? Main axis end in a flower. On its base, another axis end in a flower. Then another, another, another. From the single one, large number of side branches arises. Clear? So, this is see, this is how on main axis end in a flower, at its base, two branches. That again undergo branching. Here, see the difference. Many number of such branches are right? So, large number of symbol signs. Hmm? That is the difference between dicasal and polycasal sign. So, you have to study examples also. Understood? Okay. Now, see difference between racemos and cymos. Racemos, main axis continuously growing. Not, not ending a flower. Okay. 
So basal flowers are larger, upper flowers are smaller. Here main axis end in a flower that is limited growth. This is unlimited growth. This is acropetal, this is basipetal. Understood? Okay. Now, next category. So we finished racemose type, zymose type. Third category is mixed inflorescence. That is combination of racemose and cymose. Usually axis start as racemose but shows branching in cymose. Clear? Starting is a racemose type but branching is usually cymose type. Okay. So first one is thyrsus. So thyrsus common example is tulasi, osimum. So main axis shows number of simple dicasial cymes in racemose manner. So number of dicasial cymes in racemose manner means what? Main axis continuously grow. Lower side uh, dicasial cymes, upper side also dicasial cymes but with uh, younger flowers. So main axis show number of simple dicasial cymes in a racemose manner. That is osima. Okay, osima is exam. Then what is the last term? Pair of dicasial, dicasial sign from an axil of opposite flower. So this is an, just imagine this is an axil opposite. Here one dicasial, here one dicasial. Okay, so from the axil of opposite, that is dicasial sign arises from the axil of op opposite flowers. Clear? Example is leucus. Then mixed spadix. You know what is paddix covered with the spathe, fleshy axis. I told you in the racemos. Okay. So, several cymos cluster in a solan inflorescence axis. That is spadix. Musa is an example. So, musa having, you know, large bracted spathe. Inside several cymos inflorescence in the fleshy axis. So, mixed is combination of cymos and a racemos. First, it is racemos growth, then cymos branches. So, thyrsus is one, grow like racemos, then branches are dicasial sign. What is the last term? Axial opposite side, what condition? Dicasial signs. Mixed spadix, spadix but in large number of cymos in spadix form. That is mixed spadix. So, you have to study examples also. Leucus, you know, tumba. Okay. Now, this is an example. This is the verticillaster. See? This is the axis. On both sides what? Dicasial side. An axis on both sides dicasial side. This is the condition. This is the inflorescence. Axis both sides dicasial side. That is what is last. Okay. Now, uh, this is some uh, examples of cymos that we already discussed. No need. Then special type. What is special type? Not included in cymos, not included in racemos, not a mixed type. But it is a special category. Clear? There are mainly three types of special type of inflorescence. What are they? Cyathium, first one. That is found in the genera Euphorbia. You have to study a family Euphorbia. Hmm? So, in that, uh, there is uh, the inflorescence Cyathium. That family is characterized by Cyathium. So, what is a Cyathium? So, already that is inflorescence. But when you look at, you feel that is a single flower. Clear? Okay. So, number of bracts, you know, axil of uh, inflorescence, uh, flower arise from axil of leaf-like structure that is called a bract. So, here bracts are all united to form a cup. Clear? And from the cup, center a large single flower arise out. Then cup periphery contain many male flower. So, they are unisexual. Okay? So, single large female flower, many male flower inside a cup. So, this cup is made up of actually what? Fusion of bracts. Understood? That is what Sayatim. So, all of a, uh, at a look, you think that is a single flower. But that is not a single flower. It is an inflorescence. This is a common condition occurring in Euphorbiaceae family. Okay. See, this is the inflorescence. See, when you look at this, what do you feel? This is a single flower. But this is not a single flower. This is an inflorescence unisexual flowers. So, this is the large female flower coming out like this. This is number of male flowers. Okay. When you cut open, you can find like this. This is the cup formed by fusion of bract. And it has an opening sometimes at the apex. Then from the base of it, stamens usually you see. These are the female flowers. Then this is the, sorry, these are the male flowers and this is the large female flower. 
this plant you know polyaltia colored uh, leaf like structures um, when you just uh, pluck it you can see latex milky juice coming out um, this is the example okay poinsettia is an example euphorbia is an example okay when you just look at uh, tapioca flower plant flower marachini our kappa its flower okay then the next one is hypanthodium that is also a special type usually seen in figs fig you know that our almarum area like fig hmm, fig tree okay so here what is the condition the receptacle you know what is a receptacle hmm, where other parts are arranged floral parts receptacle is concave and cup shaped clear and it has an opening at the apex that is called ostiole a receptacle concave and cup shaped with an opening called ostiole then inside the receptacle flowers are arranged okay so a receptacle cup like an opening ostiole inside receptacle flowers are arranged so flowers are of three types what are they male flowers female flowers and neutral flowers means not male and not female so this is a condition usually at the um, female flowers are at the basal part then male flowers are the apex part then in between you can see the neutral flowers so hypanthodium is special type receptacle form a cup then it has an opening ostiole then what happens the flowers arranged inside the cup female at the base male at the top in between there are neuter flowers clear now this is the example see when you cut open you can see this is very common one fig you know and also in our uh, field in your uh, uh, means your houses at home your uh, field you can see this uh, the small one plant ficus uh, hispida is growing in your area uh, then see see this when cut open what is the, this is the cup like receptacle this is the opening see through this opening insects enter through and pollination take place so female flowers here male flowers here in between neuter flowers so when insects go down through this it uh, uh, this is a female flower okay while passing the pollen grains stick on insects that move down and uh, usually pollination take place here okay so this is the outer part see ostiole so this is example special type of inflorescence known as hypanthodium example is fig then last one is cinanthium so it is a flat fleshy disk like structure okay so receptacle become this is the this is hypanthodium okay this is the cinanthium flat cup shaped receptacle okay then center of the disk contains a female flower around which a male flower this is dorstenia this is a garden plant okay so what is the condition receptacle is disk shaped center female flower periphery male flower simple example is dorstenia so what are the three special types what are the special types hmm? cyathium hypanthodium and cinanthium cyathium example euphorbia hypanthodium example fig cinanthium example dorstenia so this may ask for uh, questions may be asked for essay type uh, three marks questions etc so very very important part i have discussed today so once again conclusion this is a thyrsus uh, osimum thyrsus then this is the hypanthodium cut open okay this is the uh, cyathium cut open okay okay so all together uh, see sessile flowers racemosa simple raceme panicle raceme in branching cyme monocase zigzag manner this is helicoid this is scorpioid this is dicasil this is corymb clear then this is compound umbel simple umbel thyrsus head in florescence verticillaster opposite side you can see dicasil sign hmm? uh, this nonid this is padix cut open this is catkin drooping pendulous form this is another one cyconium a type of uh, in florescence uh, where uh, flowers when cut open like a fleshy cup like a structure no need to study so uh, here i am concluding the inflorescence so you have to study what are the four type racemos cymos mixed special type hmm? so classify each one then compare differentiate racemos cymos differentiate is umbel corymb likewise also cymos monocotyl same dicasyl same polycasyl same differentiate hmm? with examples 
mm, describe with examples. Then what are special type of inflorescence? Mm, classify them, give examples with the help of diagram. What are the mixer type of inflorescence? Mm, give examples likewise. So short answer questions, essay questions, everything may be arises from this portion. Very, very important for examination. I hope you will study well. Uh, I hope you understood well. Uh, so uh, have a nice day. Thank you.